Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Barbara Rush, an esteemed actress whose luminous career spanned decades in film and television, passed away at the age of 97 in Westlake Village, California. Born in Denver and raised in Santa Barbara, Rush's journey from university theaters to the glitz of Hollywood is a story of talent, elegance, and versatility. Her remarkable portrayal in It Came From Outer Space earned her a Golden Globe Award as the most promising female newcomer in 1954, setting the stage for a distinguished acting career. Rush graced the big screen in memorable roles alongside some of cinema's greatest icons, including James Mason in Bigger Than Life, Dean Martin in The Young Lions, and Paul Newman in The Young Philadelphians. Her transition to television was seamless, becoming a familiar face in homes across America with significant roles in Peyton Place, All My Children, and as the beloved Grandma Ruth Camden on Seventh Heaven. Beyond her professional accomplishments, Rush was a dedicated mother to Christopher Hunter and Claudia Cowan, the latter of whom followed in her footsteps into the world of media as a journalist. Rush's personal life was as rich and varied as her career, with marriages that connected her to the heart of Hollywood's social scene. Barbara Rush's legacy is not merely found in her filmography, but in the indelible mark she left on the entertainment industry as a woman of grace, strength, and independence. Her performances, spanning the golden age of cinema to the evolving landscape of television, showcased her ability to captivate audiences with her depth and charm. As we remember Barbara Rush, we celebrate a life lived fully on and off the screen. Vera Chekawa, a distinguished figure in the world of film and a notable advocate for public health alongside Elvis Presley, passed away at the age of 83 on April 3rd in Berlin. Born into a lineage of significant artistic and cultural influence, Chechawa carved out her own path in the entertainment industry, contributing to over 50 films as an actress, producer, director, and screenwriter. Her Russian descent, coupled with the legacy of her mother, Ada Chekawa, and her great uncle, the esteemed Russian playwright Anton Chekhov, infused her work with a depth and richness that resonated across international borders. Chikawa's partnership with Elvis Presley in promoting the oral poliomyelitis vaccine highlighted her commitment to leveraging her public image for a cause greater than herself, showcasing a rare blend of celebrity activism that was ahead of its time. Furthermore, her courageous stand on women's reproductive rights, as evidenced by her participation in the Stern magazine campaign, We've Had Abortions, marked her as a trailblazer in the fight for women's autonomy and legal reform in Germany. Throughout her career, Chekawa's contributions to cinema and her advocacy work left an indelible mark on the cultural and social landscape of her time. Her legacy extends beyond her filmography and into the realms of public health and women's rights, embodying the spirit of progress and compassion. Vera Chechewa's life and work continue to inspire future generations, serving as a testament to the power of art and activism. Christopher Durang, an iconic American playwright whose sharply witty and often absurdly comedic works left an indelible mark on theater, passed away from complications of aphasia at his home in Pipersville, Pennsylvania, on April 2nd, at the age of 75. Durang's groundbreaking oeuvre celebrated for its biting humor and unflinching critique of societal norms, made him a revered figure in American theater. Born in Montclair, New Jersey, Durang's early life in Catholic schools and his academic pursuits at Harvard College and the Yale School of Drama provided a rich tapestry of experiences that he wove into his plays. Sister Mary Ignatius Explains It All For You catapulted him to national prominence in the 1980s 
earning him the O.B. Award for Best Playwright. In 2013, his play Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike not only showcased his mastery of comedic drama, but also garnered him the Tony Award for Best Play, affirming his status as a doyen of American playwriting. Beyond the stage, Durang's talents shone in various acting roles in film and television, and he was a poignant critic of adaptations of his work, most notably expressing his disappointment with the film adaptation of Beyond Therapy. His screen appearances, including a memorable turn on Saturday Night Live and his contributions to PBS and Carol Burnett specials, highlighted his versatile talent and comedic genius. Durang's personal life, shared with his husband, actor-playwright John Augustine, was a testament to his deep commitment to his craft and to those he loved. Diagnosed with logopenic progressive aphasia, Durang faced his condition with the courage and grace that characterized both his life and work. Despite gradually withdrawing from public life, his legacy as a pioneer of contemporary American theater remains untouched, celebrated through his prolific body of work that continues to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. Casey Benjamin, a luminary in the contemporary music world, known for his mastery of the saxophone, vocoder, keyboards, and for his innovative contributions as a producer and songwriter, passed away on March 30th at the age of 45. His unexpected departure has left a void in the hearts of fans, collaborators, and the global music community. Born and raised in South Jamaica, Queens, New York City, Benjamin's musical journey began at the tender age of eight with the saxophone, later honing his craft at the prestigious Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts, and further at the New School for Jazz and Contemporary Music. As a pivotal member of the Robert Glasper experiment, Benjamin achieved critical acclaim, contributing to the ensemble's Grammy-winning album Black Radio, a seminal work that deftly blended jazz, hip-hop, and R&B. His collaborations read like a who's who of the music industry, working alongside icons like Kendrick Lamar, Nas, John Legend, and Beyonce, among others. His versatility allowed him to cross musical boundaries with ease, influencing not only jazz, but also hip-hop, R&B, and beyond. Beyond his accolades and collaborations, Benjamin's legacy is marked by his unwavering commitment to pushing musical boundaries, his ability to infuse traditional jazz with contemporary sounds, and his passion for innovation. His work with the funk-pop new wave duo Heavy, alongside vocalist Nicky Gilland, showcased his creative vision and artistry, leaving an indelible mark on the music landscape. As the music world mourns the loss of such a dynamic and influential figure, Casey Benjamin's spirit and contributions will continue to inspire and resonate. His journey from a young saxophonist in Queens to a celebrated artist on the world stage exemplifies the power of dedication, creativity, and the enduring impact of art. Tim McGovern, an Oscar-winning visual effects artist known for his groundbreaking work on the 1990 film Total Recall, passed away at the age of 68. His wife, Rina Nagandi, announced the sad news, sharing that McGovern died peacefully in his sleep. A visionary in the field of visual effects, McGovern's contributions to cinema extended far beyond Total Recall, including significant roles in modern classics such as Shazam, Fury of the Gods, Jungle Cruise, and Dunkirk. As a founding member of Sony Pictures Imageworks, McGovern was instrumental in shaping the visual effects industry, blending art and technology to create unforgettable cinematic experiences. His dedication to his craft earned him the 2023 Founders Award from the Visual Effects Society, recognizing his contributions to the art, science, and business of visual effects. Beyond his professional accomplishments, McGovern was remembered by Nagandi as a loving husband who had many life dreams, including writing a film and a novel. Her commitment to realizing these dreams in his memory speaks to the profound impact he had on those around him. McGovern's legacy is not only found in the stunning visual effects that captivated audiences around the world, 
but also in the inspiration he provided to future generations of artists and filmmakers. Tim McGovern's work will continue to be celebrated, as will his passion for storytelling and innovation in visual effects. His contributions to the film industry have left an indelible mark, ensuring his influence will be felt for years to come. Fritz Wepper, a luminary of German cinema and television, passed away in Munich at the age of 82. His death, occurring less than six months after that of his brother Elmar, marks the end of an era for fans worldwide. Wepper, renowned for his role as Inspector Harry Klein in Derek, became a household name and a symbol of the crime genre's golden age. His career, spanning over six decades, showcased a versatile talent that thrived in both dramatic and comedic roles, leaving a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. Wepper's journey into the arts began in his childhood, leading to a breakthrough role in Die Brücke, a poignant exploration of youth and war that garnered international acclaim. His performance in Cabaret as Fritz Wendel offered a compelling narrative thread in a film celebrated for its critique of Nazi ascendancy, further cementing Wepper's place in cinematic history. Beyond the silver screen, Wepper's portrayal of the cunning yet endearing Mayor Wolfgang Waller in Um Himmels Willen brought joy to millions, exemplifying his ability to capture the hearts of viewers. Off-screen, his life was full of passion and complexity, from his long-standing marriage to Angela von Morgan and their shared screen presence with their daughter Sophie, to his later life and relationships that captured public interest. Fritz Wepper's contributions to film and television are immeasurable, not only in the memorable characters he brought to life, but also in the inspiration he provided to actors across generations. His friendship with icons like Liza Minnelli highlighted his influence beyond German borders, weaving him into the broader tapestry of global entertainment culture. As the world remembers Fritz Wepper, his work continues to resonate, embodying the spirit of an actor whose legacy will forever be cherished.